Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Netherwood TV on Friday 25th of November. I'm Rebecca Spilsbury. And I'm Danny Adamson and we're both Year 11 Prefects. We'd like to start with an apology as last week we were unable to get an episode out due to unforeseen circumstances. However, this week we will inform you as to what happened last week as well as this week's news. In today's episode, we will be taking a look at what happened last Wednesday, which was drop down day, as well as taking a look at some of our students who were involved in the remembrance services at both Wilmwell and Darfield. We will also announce last week's attendance and punctuality winners for both weeks, as well as taking a look at the takeover challenge. On Sunday 13th of November, we were wearing our poppies with pride and spent moments of silence to reflect on our forces and their families that have fought in previous wars for our country. Netherwood staff and students attended services at either Darfield or Wilmore Church and laid wreaths as a mark of respect. Romy Linnett in Year 11 laid a wreath at Darfield and Isabel Gost, also in Year 11, represented the school and laid a wreath at Wilmwell. It was great to see so many of our students attending the services on Sunday and how many of them were involved in the Scouts, Cadets and the Girl Guides. On Friday 11th of November, the school stood still in a moment of silence and Jack Sorden in Year 10 played the last post around school. We will now show you some footage from Sunday and hear Jack play again. On Wednesday 16th of November, Netherwood had a drop down day. Let's go over to Mr Smith, who will tell us what the day was all about. Yeah, it's a whole school drop down day, and what we've done, we've got different things happening for different year groups, so each year group has a theme. So for example, here in the gym, there's a careers fair. That careers fair is focused on the emerging labour market of health and social care looking at the sectors and industries that the kids could work in with a range of local employers. Yeah, so the year sevens and eights, they're focusing on the universal British values and getting themselves ready for employment and the skills that they need and the, the skills that employers are looking for to make themselves more employable. Uh, the year elevens, they're having a real focus on getting the CVs ready so that when they leave Netherwood, they're ready and they've got their applications ready to go on to careers. Uh, and the year 10s, they're having a focus again on the emerging labour markets and jobs in the local area that they can access, but also with volunteers working with all the form groups and those volunteers from different organisations, a range of organisations, both from within Barnsley and wider across South Yorkshire, both employers and training providers and sixth form colleges. Now on to some announcements and best work from PE. Year 7 Nurture have been working on den building, developing teamwork and cooperation. Let's take a look at how they got on. Well done Year 7, you definitely looked like you were all working together. Now let's move on to a result for Mr Smith's Year 10 football team. Last week they played against Kurt Bulk and won. The final score was 4-1 and the man of the match went to Charlie Winfield. Well done boys and keep it up. Now let's take a look at the sports fixtures for next week. Bake Off has begun and Star Baker has been awarded. This week's contestants have been battled it out for Star Baker. This week was Pastry Week. Students received a basic recipe for either mince pies, jam or lemon tarts and have had the chance to change and adapt it. Let's take a look at how they got on. Mmm, those looked yummy. 
and Mr Wood and Miss Thompson had a hard job judging. Both judges agreed that Chloe Guy and Year 9 did an exceptional job and deserved Star Baker. She definitely has her eyes on the pies. Next week's challenge is show Showstopper Week. We will of course keep you updated. Let's move on to general school news and reminders. Okay, now on to some general school, school news and reminders. Let's start with attendance and punctuality winners for last week. Well done to last week's winner, Erica Jones in Year 11, who wins with 100% attendance and takes home a £15 medal voucher. Congratulations. Congratulations to both our punctuality winners also, Abby Robson in Year 11 and Declan Collier in Year 8 for winning the punctuality award. Now on to last week's question. Deck and Rebecca ask you the following. How many poppies were used to create the work of art in London, Blood, Sweat, Lands and Seas of Red? The answer was 888,246. Well done if you got it right. Now on to this week's question. How much was it reported that we spent in the UK on Black Friday last year? Don't forget to comment your answer below. Don't forget that Panto tickets are now on sale. Please visit the student services at break if you would like to book tickets. Alternatively, you can book online. The link will appear in the description box below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment your answer below. I hope you have managed to grab a bargain today and we will see you next week.